Hard to imagine more cold weather coming into play, but yes, indeed, we will see that. Live look up in Coleman here at the Regional Medical Center. Notice the parking lot isn't white anymore. It was enough sunshine to melt a lot of that ice, but notice you see this kind of a bright sheen on there and reflective. That's all turned to black ice essentially here in the parking lot. So we are dealing with still that in Coleman area along Highway 278 points to the north. Still have those icy roads expected overnight tonight. It's 25 degrees right now there in in the Coleman area here in town, though we are not dealing with all this. We got the sunshine, the roads heated up and dried out, uh, but we're still pretty cold. We're coming in at 27 in Birmingham with some calm winds here. Pretty nice look from our BJCC camera. It's 19 in Gadsden, to Talladega, 18 in Jasper, Tuscaloosa, Alabaster, 25 degrees. So we are going to be dealing with another very cold night tonight. All those road temperatures are below freezing, but again, if they're dry, it doesn't matter. It's those that are still wet now becoming ice across the northern part of the state. We have to watch out for now. Temperatures actually will bottom out around three o'clock in the morning here. And as these southerly winds come back into play, it's going to allow those temperatures to rise throughout the morning. So it'll be very cold out there to start off the morning. We are expecting another hard freeze tonight in the middle of the night for everybody. Temperatures ranging from about 10 to 20 degrees. As you can see here, 22 Birmingham, 20 Alabaster to Clanton, 15 Jasper, Asheville, 16, 15 up in the Gadsden area, so another cold one out there. Fortunately, no wind to speak of, so no wind show. But remember the four P's protect people, check on our neighbors, especially make sure they have the heat, keep all those pets inside. This is pipe bursting, so open those cabinets and drip your faucets again. And plants, of course, if they're not inside by now, they're not really alive, right? Uh, how about traffic tomorrow morning? We could see some black ice in spots, mainly to the north, so keep that in mind. Uh, roads that stayed in the shade. Actually, we'll be wet and icy again tomorrow morning, so we have to watch out for that. Maybe a few bridges, North Alabama as well, and that's where the greatest travel issues will be for tomorrow. Right now, we have a few high clouds coming into the area, and that's all part of our next system. One Arctic air mass is leaving us here, but here comes our next system out in the Plain States. This is going to continue to move through, tap into some of those southerly winds and grab some rain with this, and then behind it, another blast or some Arctic air will arrive as we get to the weekend. But tomorrow, we're looking at 40% chance of mainly rain. I'll explain what that means in a minute. In it. Dry this weekend, but then another shot of rain arrives for the middle of next week. So future cast will show tomorrow morning will start sunny, but the clouds roll in. And notice here we could possibly see some sleep freezing rain. Marion, Winston, Coleman counties points to the north here into the Huntsville area as well as this kind of starts out. So keep an eye out for you all up there about three o'clock in the afternoon. Still maybe where it's in the 30s. Rest of us will be in the 40s. So don't have to worry about any kind of frozen precipitation. It's all going to be rain. And by the time the rain really uh, gets out of here, by the time these temperatures really start to drop here, this is 11 o'clock Thursday. Here comes that front and then into Friday morning may see some sunshine initially. A few more clouds roll in, but it'll be dry at this point and pretty windy. So hopefully it dries out much of the roads. Could again see some slick spots up here. Hamilton, Double Springs, Coleman again, 278 points to the north. We'll have to watch out for that with some peaks of sun by Friday afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 30s, but you need to be weather aware as we get to the weekend because another shot of Arctic air comes in lows around 10 to 15 degrees wind chills 5 to 10 more pipe bursting temperatures how about saturday morning we're talking 10 to 17 degrees for the morning lows there and then wind chill will be in the single digits on saturday morning and we do rebound to about 29 in the afternoon so not much of a warm-up at all stays below freezing it does get a little bit warmer as we head into sunday and that warming trend is actually going to continue into next week so again there's that front falling temperatures friday teens for lows 29 on saturday Saturday. But how about 51 Monday and Carly and Sherry? How about 64 degrees by Wednesday? It's a big turnaround in temperatures, but unfortunately, we're going to have to drop deal with some rain across the area. All right. We'll